What's up guys, Mikkel here, and in this video, we're gonna be going over an XRP price chart that you absolutely need to be paying attention to. Guys, there are a lot of people worried about the fact that right now XRP is lagging the rest of the market. They believe that because XRP is not moving, that means it is going to miss out on the next bull run. Guys, in this video, I wanna give you my thoughts around that and actually show you a chart that I believe will get rid of all your worries around this happening. Guys, make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see that you are not going to wanna to miss this. Like always, your support means so much to this channel. Thank you to everyone who takes the time to like the videos and subscribe to the channel. These two things really do mean so much. Also, if you ever need a good place to buy some XRP, make sure to check out my favorite exchange up poll down in the description of this video. With that said though, let's jump right into it and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So guys, I just want to start this video out with a quick plug. If you are one of the people who wants to invest in Ripple private equity, but is not an accredited investor, make sure to check out the Mastermind by Beyond Broke. If you use the code MICKLE1MO, you will get your first month free, and this group will allow you to invest in Ripple equity, even if you're not an accredited investor. So make sure to check that out. It's a great opportunity, especially for people who don't have another way to get access to Ripple equity. I want to move on though and talk about something extremely interesting. And this is a post shared by notfinancialadvice.crypto talking about a book that was actually predicting the digital realm we are going into today. Guys, I always find stuff like this really interesting because it shows that a lot of the smartest people in the world, even before the internet days, had visions of a digital money ultimately being the means of transaction in the next generation financial system. Take a look at this. The idea of a single global currency makes sense when paired with a global information infrastructure that can move digital money around easily. Now, guys, the reason why I think this is so interesting is because it really goes against the idea of what Bitcoin is and really promotes Ripple strategy with XRP. And this is something that I've always said on the channel is extremely important. Bitcoin was revolutionary. Bitcoin was digital money. But in order to get large institutions, large central banks to use it, you are going to need centralized software or an information network to allow them to use the digital currency in a fast, efficient, safe and easy way. Bitcoin is digital money, but there is no company, there is no board of directors building centralized software for Bitcoin to make it easily used by some of the largest institutions on earth. Ripple's strategy with XRP was always to create an information network, RippleNet, a way that these big institutions and players can access the digital asset ecosystem to thus utilize the powers and benefits of XRP. One of the things I think a lot of people forget is the big banks, the big governments, the big institutions out there are not technology experts. They are not going to be on the cutting edge of inventing things like digital currency networks. Therefore, they are going to rely on people like Ripple to build seamless ways for them to access this network. Guys, Ripple has always had the right approach. And I think this book shared by Not Financial Advice Crypto just put it so simply and it's so interesting to me that people were thinking about this before the internet was even created. Guys, to me, it has always looked like Bitcoin was a test. Bitcoin was something to test the idea of digital money, but it was never production ready. It was never ready for the big institutions. The people behind the XRP ledger understood that Bitcoin was great, but that they could build something much faster, much cheaper, and something that financial institutions could actually adopt given the proper centralized software and information networks behind it. Guys, this is always why I have believed that Ripple strategy with XRP has been right since day one. And I just think it's so cool to see some of these books predating all of these things even being invented, talking about these same concepts. And in my opinion, these same concepts have held true throughout time in history. Guys, I want to move on though and talk about the price charts because I think we're watching right now something extremely exciting and I think a lot of people are not looking at this the same way as me. Guys, a lot of people are seeing the price action right now and they're concerned, they're bored, they're worried about what's to come and I have never been more optimistic. Guys, this chart's probably going to be a little hard for you to see but hopefully I can blow it up real quick. Yep, here we go. And what you're going to notice is that right now, Bitcoin is sitting at its prior all-time high if you take a look up here. Guys, this historically has been a signal that Bitcoin is about to break out and create new all-time highs. Take a look at the chart. The same exact thing happened back from 2013 to 2017. Bitcoin kind of stalled out at its previous all-time high, hung out there for a little bit. People got scared. People got worried. People were wondering if the bull market was over, only to have Bitcoin go exponentially and on its blow-off top. And notice, guys, Bitcoin never got back down to those levels it was at prior. 
Take a look at where Bitcoin is right now. It is once again consolidating at the previous all time high, signaling to me it's likely got a lot more room to run. The other very important thing to note about this is back in 2017, most of the altcoins didn't start running until Bitcoin already made its new all time high, which means right now things are part for the course and we really shouldn't be expecting any kind of major movement from the other cryptocurrencies until Bitcoin solidifies that there's a lot more juice left. The other thing I want to show you, and this is what I believe is the most important chart of this video, is XRP against Bitcoin from 2013 to 2017. Guys, the reason I want to show you this chart is because so many people I see are panicking that XRP is underperforming Bitcoin. So many people are saying, oh, this case is holding back XRP. It's suppressing XRP. And because of that, XRP is going to miss the next bull run. Guys, take a look at this chart. And I'm going to change the way we visualize Bitcoin on this chart real quick just to make it a little easier for you guys to tell the difference between Bitcoin and XRP here. Okay. So XRP is a candlestick chart and Bitcoin is this orange line. Guys, what you can see is back from 2013 to 2017, Bitcoin was on an exponential run and XRP was being left in the dust. We can even take a measurement and see that Bitcoin was up over 600% against XRP at this time. Guys, for a lot of people, this was time for panic. A lot of people started selling their XRP at this point, dumping their XRP into Bitcoin, which was already up massively. People were saying because Bitcoin was running and XRP was lagging, that Bitcoin was going to be the one to win this cycle and investing in XRP was dead money. Well, guys, what did we end up seeing? Just a couple weeks later, XRP went on a massive exponential move and in a matter of a couple candles was then outperforming Bitcoin massively by almost 400 to 500%. So what is the important lesson here? The past performance did not indicate what was right around the corner. And in fact, XRP was just extremely suppressed when Bitcoin was up against it and was always meant to catch up in a fast and parabolic action. Well, guys, let's take a look at how things continue to play out. XRP continued to massively outperform Bitcoin and ultimately continued to do so until 2018, when ultimately the SEC filed the case against Ripple. Now, guys, let's fast forward a little bit and take a look at what's happening today, because I think you'll find it extremely interesting. First of all, what you'll notice is XRP has always almost outperformed, if not performed with Bitcoin until this case happened. Now, guys, a lot of people are always complaining that XRP underperforms. But what you can see by this chart is that's not necessarily true. Now, guys, let's take a measurement from where we're sitting right now to where Bitcoin is. Right now, we are undervalued against Bitcoin by about 300%. So this is actually less than what happened in 2013 to 2017. And what we know is that in 2013 to 2017, XRP caught back up to Bitcoin with a single candle. Guys, I want to make this so, so engraved into your brain. What we understand is XRP has the capability to catch up to Bitcoin in fast and parabolic action. And it has done it before. What we are watching right now is par for the course. It's nothing new. So all the people who think that because XRP is lagging, because XRP has not performed like Bitcoin thus far, and therefore XRP is dead this cycle, are not paying attention to history. XRP almost always lags. For some reason, the price is suppressed to some kind of level. But then suddenly, out of nowhere, for whatever reason, XRP has proven that it always catches up and typically even outperforms something like Bitcoin. Guys, every single time XRP has ultimately outperformed Bitcoin, it is lagged prior. So I want to make this so, so understood in the community. There is nothing I am seeing right now that makes me remotely worried where XRP sits. And in fact, if you just take a look at the prior chart, everything we are seeing right now should be extremely optimistic for what is right around the corner for XRP. Bitcoin is a leading indicator. Bitcoin leads the market. Bitcoin makes its big move first, and then XRP comes out of nowhere and outperforms it. Guys, I have zero doubt in my mind that we are going to see the same exact thing happen this time. And I don't know what the catalyst is going to be to set XRP off. Is it the Ripple SEC case ending? Is it a new partnership for Ripple? Is it a new institution onboarding onto the XRP ledger? Guys, I have no idea. But what I do know is these charts always tend to work themselves out. And XRP remains a blue chip cryptocurrency 
in the digital asset market. Guys, I believe XRP has the best fundamentals out of any other cryptocurrency out there. And the only reason the masses are ignoring it is because they don't understand these lagging effects and they think that in order for a cryptocurrency to be good, it needs to be pumping right in front of their eyes. Well, guys, I'll tell you that the people who understood XRP in 2013 and 2017 and didn't FOMO into whatever else was pumping were the ones who actually won big. It wasn't the people chasing the lines. It was the people who understood deeply what they were invested into. And guys, I think the same exact thing is going to play out this time. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does mean so much. And for now, pickle out.